be two parts that has us all buzzing, and that is recycling. Does that peanut butter jar need to be spick and span before hitting the recycle bin? Well, we're going to sift through all of these items with the City of Calgary, Sharon Howland. She's here with Recycling 101. Good morning to you. Good morning. Okay, we're starting with the do nots here, and there's something that you term wish cycling. Yes. So things that people throw in the bins that they wish were recyclables, but they're just not. That's right. Okay, so where do we start here on the table? So with the concept of wish cycling, what we see is small plastic items that can't actually be captured at the recycling facility. Okay. So that's your coffee cup lids, your straws, stir sticks, utensils. You think you're doing the right thing, but we actually can't capture those things, whether we're sorting them by hand or by machine. Okay, good to know. So you need to separate those things. And there are some mixed materials here as well. So let's go through a couple of the items that are half and half. Definitely. Cookie pouch. We can recycle the actual insert, but the uh, cellophane on the outside is just garbage. Okay, so that goes in the garbage bin, that goes in the blue bin. How about this one? More and more packaging is a combined uh, paper, cardboard, and plastic, so yeah. you just need to pull those apart. Those two components are both acceptable, but if you leave them together, we can't actually recycle it. So separate it, put them both in your blue cart. Got it. Uh, you were telling me about packaging and how you've really seen a change in packaging. The past two years there's been a huge change. Lots of these pouches, baby food, trail mix, that sort of thing, those are not acceptable. There is no recycling solution for those as of yet. Okay, got it. These items, that go someplace totally different. They do. They go to your local fire hall or hazardous waste drop-off. If those end up in the trucks or in the material recovery recycling facility, uh, they can cause an explosion and hurt somebody. That's dangerous, so anything aerosol? Definitely. It's it definitely recyclable, just not in your blue cart. Drop it off at a fire hall. Got it. Okay, how about mixed material when you've got the plastic and the paper? This could be an envelope. We've got a tortilla bag here. This is a good example of a no. So a mixed material that's a no, uh, whether it's foil and paper or plastic and paper, it's a no. You can't even try to separate them. No, there's nothing you can work. do. They're laminated together. There's no getting that apart. Okay, what about this guy, the uh, bubble wrap on the inside? A common example in office or you're getting things shipped to your house, that's a no. You can't get that bubble wrap separated from that paper. Okay, good yeah. to know. So let's say I accidentally throw some of these items in the blue bin. This can actually have a direct effect on tax paying citizens. For this, sure. Our taxes would be higher. Calgarians pay just over $8 a month for the Blue Cart Recycling Program. Any materials that go in there that are not acceptable are contamination and need to be hauled off to landfill, separated and hauled off to landfill. So that's a program expense. Yes. So pay for those program expenses, that fee needs to go up. So if we keep contamination low, then the fee remains low. Okay, so we got to educate ourselves. I missed this one up front. This is another example of a mix. Really good example. It's cardboard along the outside of the tube with a plastic top and a metal bottom. So you can separate that apart. If you don't want to take the time, then you're going to have to put that whole thing in the garbage. Okay, so they're both fine. Yeah, the metal, the paper, but not the, uh, sorry, the metal on the bottom and the plastic top, but not this paper along the middle. All right. Last but not least, we drink a lot of this around these parts. I betcha. So unfortunately, that's another good example, like the pouches of a multi-material. It's laminated uh, foil and plastic together. It's just garbage. Okay, there you go. Thank yep. you so much. You're the welcome. The don'ts, very clear. The do's, things you can put in the blue bin. Ted Hanley's going to tackle that in just a few moments, including that peanut butter question. How much peanut butter can be in the peanut butter jar? So you're going to stay with us.